Hi, I'm Marilyn from Mac Fusion. Today I want to show you guys this great little product that I found at Macworld this year. It's called Inklet by 101 Design, and basically it turns your trackpad into a, a tablet. A um, couple of requirements though you have to have a unibody MacBook Pro and you have to be running Snow Leopard. So this was like a really cool product. I always have um, tablet envy. I bought my son a little bamboo Wacom tablet for Christmas and I just love it. And it's not that I can't afford to buy myself one. It's just that um, I'm pretty mobile and I don't sit down still enough often to actually attach things to my computer. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds where I can have a tablet without being tied to an external device that I have to worry about lugging with me. Um, and the other cool thing is either you can use this cool little pen, it's called the Pogo. It comes in this fantastic pink color or silver, um, or you can use your finger. Um, but it's pretty cool and it's pressure sensitive, so it'll do thin to thick lines. Um, but let's go ahead and um, why don't we show you. So the first thing is it works in quite a few different programs. Um, the pressure sensitive though, um, I only have the CS3 version of Photoshop and I guess the pressure sensitive um, doesn't show up there, but I can show you what it looks like in a Photoshop document. So um, I have it set to go ahead and toggle with using um, a tap in the corner of my trackpad. So you can see, see here's the screen. And if I use two fingers, It'll scroll around where my area is, or I can pinch and stretch and make that area bigger. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but okay. Um, and to, to toggle out of that screen, to do it temporarily, you can hit the, hit the tilde key, and then I can go choose like a paintbrush. I've got blue selected, so let's see. Let me just, and it's pressure sensitive. So let's see here, it's not doing my thick to thin lines. It's basically just sticking with, with the same uh, width a brush that I selected. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like in um, in Acorn. Acorn is one of those apps that I got in um, a Mac Heist bundle last year and I actually had not opened it until um, today. <laughs> so let's see. Now you'll see that my selection is really big. So let's make it smaller and let's move it around. Oops, don't want to do that. Command Z. Okay, so I have pink selected and if I just move lightly it moves the cursor but with just a little bit of pressure and this you can see if I do it lighter it's smaller heavier it's thicker now if I was really artistic I'd do something really cool for you guys but um, there's a reason I'm a geek and I do computer stuff and it's a uh, toggle change colors So I actually have another program that's really artistic, if any of you guys are um, real artistic, I guess. <laughs> so let's see, let's start with um, a nice blue color. Let's toggle this, let's go ahead and make it bigger. Move it, two fingers, slides it around. So this program is pretty cool, and if you notice, as I'm twirling around, if you can see that little oval, that's my brush, and it's twirling around too. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a little pressure. Look at it and you can see, and it does like real paint swipes. There's days when I wish I could actually paint because this would be a lot of fun. Um, this this program is called Art Rage 2. And it's not very expensive. I think it was like $35, $40. Um, but the things it does, it's really neat. Uh, let's go add another color. So watch this. So when you streak it through, it goes ahead and it blends the paints together. And it's got all different options. Um, you can do a uh, crayon, you can use uh, the knife to, I'm sure it has a more technical name than that. Huh. Look at that. And you can actually see there's like little texture that it leaves in there. But pretty cool. And uh, it's a little tablet wherever I go. The only thing I have to carry with me is my pen and only if I want to, because I can actually um, change the options to um, use my finger. So let's do that. Pogo sketch, switch to finger, and we are back in. So now, I guess it would help if I used a better brush. Let's do some green. It's a little bit harder 
to use the finger. Finding um, to do the pressure a little bit harder. Um, prefer the pogo to this, but still, in a pinch, easy, easy to do. Um, because I'm using CS3, it doesn't actually support uh, Illustrator in uh, CS3, but um, it does support it in CS4. So someday when I upgrade to CS4, I'll show you guys that too. But this is Inklet, and uh, I approve. <laughs>